Clarence Cook Little founded the Jackson Laboratory on two basic hypotheses. One was that cancer was genetic. The second was that the mouse was a good genetic model of the human being. In 1929, we knew that genes existed. We had no idea what genes were made out of. We had no idea how big or small they were. We had no idea how they worked their magic. JAX has been a major contributor to the JAGS from the inception of the field. JAX has made profound contributions in two different ways. First, through our own research and, and the contributions of people like Clarence Cook Little, George Snell, Tibby Russell, Leroy Stevens. But we've also contributed by making well-characterized, standardized genetic resources and reagents available worldwide. The experimental mouse was really you know, really began at the Jackson Laboratories. The mouse was the first um, experimental organism that was shown to be genetically similar to human beings. So we could study genetics in the mouse and then transfer what we learned over to human beings. You cannot study any disease without having some uh, animal model that you could test and test your hypothesis. And the Jackson Laboratory has been the place that has brought this up to the highest level uh, worldwide. And through that process, we've contributed to 26 Nobel Prizes and many other uh, scientific awards that are just below the Nobel level. Education's been important to the mission of the lab since its uh, founding uh, 85 years ago. We, we think that there's a fundamental ethical obligation to pass on what we learn and what we know others have learned Learning to do research, learning to do science, learning to create new knowledge. You don't learn it in a lecture room. You learn it by doing it. I've become so much more aware of what science really is and the aspect, the way it works in the real world. And it's also kind of really shifted my career goals after being here. I know that research is for me. Three Nobel laureates have come out of the program. David Baltimore, Howard Temin, and Jack Shostak. Um, three prominent scientists who've influenced the direction of genomics. The Jack Short Course is an international gathering of scientists and students that brings into focus genetic research as it's occurring. To try to estimate its impact is almost impossible because the impact is so large. Almost everyone who has ever contributed uh, to human genetics is either taught or sat in the lecture room of this course. JAX has become the world's capital, the world's central intellectual resource for understanding how to do mouse genetics. What makes JAX unique goes beyond that. Collaboration is, is the lifeblood of scientific endeavors. From its very inception, the laboratory has sought to create bridges between scientists rather than silos. Our mouse models and our discoveries serve as a point of collaboration for other individuals at other institutions worldwide. The important shift, the inflection point in biology and in biomedical science today is, is really the power of our technologies. We started out with the first human being being genetically sequenced. Uh, it took roughly 15 years and cost something like $3 billion to do it. Today we can do that in 48 hours for $1,200. It's amazing. That kind of expansion in power has never been seen in biology. So many sciences make a transition like this at some point in their history. Chemistry, going from having fragmentary bits of knowledge about matter and elements to having a periodic table of all the components of discussion. That's, that's the transition biology is going through right now. That doesn't mean you're gonna solve everything. It doesn't mean you're gonna cure all diseases. But it does mean that for the first time, you do have all the pieces of the puzzle laid out on the table. And that's a huge difference. Eight years ago, the top leadership of JAX sat down and talked about what was happening in genetics and what was likely to happen in genomics. It led all of us to conclude that there were exciting opportunities to understand more about the human genome directly, as opposed to working through the model of the mouse. The Jack's Genomic Campus in Farmington, Connecticut is a major advance for the Jackson Labs. 
what Jackson Laboratory has done by moving into human genomics as well is to link the mouse genetics and the human genomics closer together so we can move quickly from mouse to human. I'm really intensely interested in taking basic and translational research and figuring out how to actually get it into the clinic. What do we need to do that? What are the steps that are involved? All of us, and I'm a practicing physician, all of us have tried forever to practice individualized medicine, but we didn't have the information which made it possible for us to do that. My firm belief is that we're going to be able to harness the complexity of the genome in such a way that we're going to be able to do predictive medicine predictive biology. The key to personalized medicine really comes um, in understanding the computational genetics. We can isolate genes, we can isolate genetic backgrounds, but it's the analysis of that data that I think is going to be key in moving to the next step in personalized medicine. The hope is that once we understand all of these genetic variants and that information is available to the physician, we ought to actually be able to begin to prevent disease. In fact, I would predict that you will see the name JAX or the Jackson Laboratory, not just in research laboratories, but in hospital systems. And that patients will recognize that name as important for their, for their lives. JAX is absolutely singular. There is no place in the world like JAX. Our focus on genetics and genomics of complex organisms our 85-year history, the 1,500 individuals who work uh, under the Jack's banner towards this common goal is unheard of in the world. Clarence Cook Little and the eight scientists that he brought together uh, here in Bar Harbor 85 years ago couldn't imagine a Jack's with a million square feet in Bar Harbor, with a, uh, a wonderful facility in Connecticut, with a great facility in Sacramento. They couldn't have imagined it.